Okay, so in this video, we will see how to play with the transform origin property to change the origin of transformation in an animation just like that. All right, so let's do it right now. First, we need to create an H1 with the title underlined like that uh, class. Then inside it, I will write quintessence. I guess this is a word in English too. So yeah, quintessence is, is great. And this is a beautiful word. So after that, I can just um, open my live server again. So just open with live server. And yeah, I will have my uh, my text right there. So I can go in my style CSS. So there there is a basic reset, a background, and display flex justify content center just to center my text right there, okay? Okay, so after that, I will just zoom a bit for those who follow on mobile phone. And then I can just style my title underlined with some display inline block, inline block. So it will keep its width, uh, the width of its content and also block. So I can play with some margin top, for example, a margin top 250, position relative for the animation, color F1, F1, F1 font size 80 pixels, cursor pointer, yes, and we do have our word right there. So the animation will be with the um, pseudo, uh, pseudo element after, the after pseudo element. So I can just go there and create it after. I need to instantiate it with the content property, even if the value is empty like that. Then position absolute, which is relative to my position relative, so the, the position parent. The width will be 100%. The transform scale, x scale x will be set to zero, but right now I will just uh, put one to see it. The height will be two pixel. It will be placed at the bottom zero, left zero, with a background color FFF, so white. Transform origin, so basically we won't touch it right now, just uh, we will create the animation first and then we will play with the property. So we need to put a transition on transform. 0 0.3 seconds is out. Is out like that. Okay, great. So now the animation will be about uh, transform scale. I will just put zero at the beginning. And now when I hover it, so hover, see it's pseudo class hover, then my pseudo element after will take a transform scale x1. So. This is the first animation and it can be a good animation actually if you want to keep it like that. So basically the transform origin will be at 50-50 on X and Y. So basically at the center of my element. You see? Okay, great. And what if we want to change it? What if we want to change it? For example, I go there and I would just put transform origin to bottom right. Okay, bottom right and it will go from the right to the left, you see, from the right to the left, which is uh, something different. You can keep it like that also if you like it. You can also put bottom left, for example, if you want the other one. And I could also do something like bottom right right there. I copy it and I paste it right there. And right there, we'll just put bottom left. And then when I hover it, the transform origin will be at the left. And when I won't hover it, it will be at right. So it will start at the left, okay, from the left, and it will hand to the right, like that, okay, from left to right, from left to right. So you can do some kind of um, sympathetic stuff like that with your animation if you change the transform origin. It's important to know that kind of uh, property when you are dealing with CSS animations. All right, that's it. It wasn't too difficult, I guess, but it's, uh, it's quite uh, interesting. All right, see you in another video. Ciao.